Today I want to talk about, let me see what their Instagram name is because I don't want to get it wrong. Choke or Trap Silkscreen. That's their Instagram. Make sure you give them a follow. Okay, the reason why I want to talk about them today is because yesterday I saw a post that they had on their story and they were selling their manual press, I believe their flash and some other things that came along with the bundle. And he had it up for sale for about 2300 or 2500 And I sent him a message asking why. So he said that it was like an extra press on his, on his shop. He wanted to get rid of it. He's trying to upgrade to an automatic press. And I understand. He's starting to feel like he's getting left behind by other shops around him. And things like that are gonna happen when you start screen printing and you start getting volume, but you get to a point where you feel like you hit a wall and you're not moving as fast as you wanna move. So him selling that press is definitely a good move, but selling it for 2300 is definitely not. So that's where I send them a message and I just said, you know, why are you selling it? Told me why. And I figured I'd give him some advice. So I told him that he should, first of all, clean up the press as best as he can, oil it up, and take good pictures of it so he can sell it. And instead of selling the press as an extra machine in his shop that he's no longer using, he should sell it as, and advertise it as the machine that made him X amount of dollars the previous year, and now it can be an opportunity for the next buyer to make the same amount of money or more if they purchase it. So now you're selling, you're selling an opportunity for somebody to start their business versus what you might consider an extra piece of equipment that you no longer need. That's just building up dust on the corner of your shop. So it's all about how you present what you're selling. And if what you're selling, you're presenting it as something that you don't need and it's just cornered and it's building dust then it's not very desirable. People don't want to buy that. But if that, equi if that equipment that you're selling looks presentable and it looks like you're using it and that's helping your business stay afloat and you show that you have made money in the past by using that machine, then you're selling an opportunity. For somebody that's looking to start a business and now it's more enticing, people really want it now. They want to. They want to have what you have because you're making money with what you have. So that's what I wanted to, that's what I wanted to talk about today because I thought it was important. Uh, he felt a little discouraged and me reaching out to him just kind of helped him boost up his self-esteem a little bit. So I thought that was good and I'm glad that I reached out because, you know, even though sometimes I'm pretty busy and it takes time out of my day, when I see those things, it doesn't hurt me to just send a quick message. So hopefully, if anybody out there is thinking about selling their equipment, just think about it in a more positive way. Don't just sell your equipment because you, don't, you no longer need it. Sell it as an opportunity to people to build their own business and start something on their own. And uh, with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Super quick tip for screen printers. And technically this tip goes out for anybody that's trying to sell anything. And I hope that if you were selling something for super cheap, rethink the strategy, rework how you're gonna sell it, take better pictures, uh, make a good description of your item, make people want it, and get your money's worth. So um, thank you guys again. Let's keep subscribing. We're almost at the end of the year and we need to get to 10,000. Let's make it happen. Comment below. Dislike the video if you didn't like it, uh, like it if you did, and we'll check you guys in the next one. Just think about it right now, everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, underneath it all, everything's actually all right.
have more power than you like to give yourself credit for. And if you have something that's going on in your life right now,